G'day tubers. So, got another little bit of an update. I've had a lot of people in the last couple of days, weeks, months, years, asking me how much I spent on this project again, and I haven't updated my little project um, thing on the forum for, I don't know, a period of time, I guess. So, what I've done here is I've listed all the components again. I've got how much I spent, everything. It's pretty much everything to do my 40 kilowatt hour pack as well. The only thing missing is 14 long mons. And I actually need space to put it in, so <laughs> I can't do it e even if I wanted to. So, if you want to have a check out here, that's my entire list. Income, donations, everything. That is what this project has cost me if I looked at it as if it was a business. So, and I've also looked at, it, it comes out to around uh, almost $10,000. I'm going to call it $10,000 because that's the easy way to do maths. And I plan on doing some maths. And you know how I hate maths, right? So, what I thought was, you know what would be interesting? It'd be really interesting if I rung around to find out how much the Tesla Powerwall 2 was installed. Yeah, I'm not taking into account, you know, the solar panels and all that other shit. I just rung up and asked, because I didn't want to waste their time. Rung two or three people up. And basically said, how much to grab a Powerwall, turn around, stick it on the wall in a perfect situation. No cabling, no contracts, no solar panels, anything else added in. I just just the power wall itself. So this isn't an accurate comparison, but it's still a comparison nonetheless. So if you got a Tesla Power Wall too, they want fifteen thousand dollars installed in Australia for one. Holy crap. Okay. So and it's a fourteen kilowatt hours. So you take fourteen kilowatt hours at twenty four cents per kilowatt hour is what I pay for my normal power, like you know, this power. I haven't got net metering or whatever you call it. Anyway, for 24 cents. So that's $3.50 per day max if you absolutely destroy the batteries every single day. That is $15,000 divided by 350 is 4,285 days just to repay the cost of the unit itself before you made any profit. That's 11.75 years. Almost 12 years. It comes with a 10-year warranty. It comes with a 10-year warranty if it doesn't get too hot, if it doesn't stay disconnected from the internet too long, and if it doesn't get too cold, and there's probably other terms and conditions that I don't know about. So, now to mine. And this is where it makes it easy. I'm going to say 10,000 bucks. It's like this whole thing is listed on 40 kilowatt hours, so I'm going to say mine's 20 kilowatt hours. I'm not going to work it out on 14 kilowatt hours, I'll work it out on 20 kilowatt hours, which is half of my capacity. And, you know, this is just as much theoretical as it is actual fact. So, you got 10,000 divided by, uh, where is it? Wait a minute, wrong bit of paper. So, 20 kilowatt hours a day at 24 cents is $4.80 per day. Divide that by, you know, 10,000 and you get uh, 2,083 days, which is 5.7 years return on investment. That's not horrible. Now, if you take into account... Um, my YouTube income like that it, and the growth of my channel and all the other things that I'm doing in relation to it my this YouTube project will pay for itself in under another two years I reckon easily I have another five thousand bucks left to go and I reckon I can do it I reckon if I, I, I stay dedicated and try and grow this thing and make it better we're gonna get there but that gives you an idea as an end user of what you can do. You can use this list of parts. You don't have to do everything that I've done here. There's lots of ways you can do this cheaper, a lot cheaper, and still use high quality parts. Instead of using 42 long mons like I've done, you can just use 14 long mons and just make, instead of having 80 in a pack, you can have 200 cells in a pack. It's still gonna work. The long mon might have to work a little bit harder, I don't, I don't know the mathematics behind that, but you just make bigger packs. You, if, you, if you're just starting, you can make bigger packs and do the BMS thing, and it's even heaps cheaper again. Unfortunately, I know people um, in the past that have made 20 cell packs, and now they want to do a BMS, and it's going to be hugely expensive for them to actually do that. So they're considering reconfiguring all their packs. Well, YouTube, I hope that video brought you some sort of clarity on how much I earn and how much this project's worth and how much it's cost me. Moving forward, it's probably going to cost me more and, you know, these bits of paper are going to change.
but stay tuned. We'll see what we can do. If you've got any questions, ask below. If you like what I do, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. It's all good either way. Got to make some money somehow, and apparently it helps with user interaction or something. Catch you, tubers. See ya.